So we're in the motivational series, hence the carrot and stick. In this video we're going to look at Hertzberg's two-factor theory. Obviously Frederick Hertzberg, 1959. So Frederick Hertzberg came up with these two-factor theory. The first thing we look at is the hygiene factors or maintenance factors. And these are not a finite list. This is simply a list of possibilities. Okay, hygiene. So it's things like security, uh, salary, supervision, etc. The key thing about hygiene factors is if they're missing, you become demotivated. But if they are there, you don't become motivated. So it's, that's why it's a hygiene factor. And I like to think of it as cleanliness. You know, if a toilet is not clean, you can't go. But if it's super clean, you don't go more than you were going to do. You have a certain amount that you're going to go, and therefore you go. Okay, so the hygiene factors is very, very simple to remember that if they are there, everything's okay, keyword okay. But if they're not there, then you're demotivated. But if they're there loads, you're not motivated more. It's not how it works. So that on the opposite side of hygiene factors then are the motivational factors, things like, there we go, achievement, recognition, uh, responsibility to the work itself, advancement, personal growth. So some keywords of motivation there, achievement, work itself, responsibility, etc. And I love the way this is portrayed and this is why I like it this way, okay? Because we need the hygiene factors, we need that landing base to set off from. So the motivational factors, the more we have, the higher that rocket will go. But the more hygiene factors we have, it doesn't mean the rocket will go any higher, it just means it's a stronger platform to go from. So we only need to put enough there to make sure the platform's steady and we can progress further. Okay, so we have to put an effort into creating the hygiene factors and making sure they exist, but we don't have to put too much effort into making sure they're amazing. That said, the motivators, we have to put a lot of effort into them and really create these opportunities. And then that way we can really send the rocket, the rocket being the kind of the, the trajectory of the person that we're our, our employee. Okay, so this is Hertzberg's two factor theorems. The first factor is the hygiene. So the things that if they're missing, we get demotivated, but if they're there in spades, we don't get motivated to do more. And then the second factor is the actual motivator. So the more they're there, the further we will go.